Hey, what's up mga buboy? You're Matt B's friends back for another video at magsusolve na naman tayo ng isang problem regarding the Newton's Law of Motion. So, ayan mga bis, no? sabi sa ating problem, we have uh, bl two blocks here, no? Blocks A and B have masses 40 kilograms and 20 kilograms. They are connected by a rope, no? At dumadaan siya sa isang pulley. Ibig sabihin, kapag hihilayin ko to, mahihila to. Kapag hihilayin ko to, bababa din, mahihila din to. Okay. Yung tanong mga bis, Meron tayo ditong ipapatong na black C para hindi to mag-slide. That's the uh, question letter A. Determine the minimum yan, minimum. <laughs> Determine the minimum weight of black C to keep A from sliding. So ano yung ilalagay natin dito sa taas ng black A para hindi kumalaw yung ating system? Ibig sabihin kapag hindi gagalaw yung ating system, that means it is in a particle equilibrium, all right? So let's say so let's solve for letter A muna. Therefore, since it's in particle equilibrium, the net force acting in the x direction is equal to zero kasi nga, particle equilibrium at rest siya. Ngayon, ano yung mga forces involved? Okay, so mag-draw tayo ng ating free body diagram, no? So, let's assume muna yun na yung ito is, is buo siya. So, let's name that AC. So, let's uh, assume first the as one muna siya, iisang, ano siya, iisang system siya, okay? Para hindi tayo magkagulo-gulo. So, ano yung mga forces na involved dito. Yung mga forces na involved, of course, first is yung ito, di ba? Merong tension na nanggagaling dito. So, yung tension na to is hinihila siya pag ganun. So, the tension is force is like that. Okay. So, aside sa tension na humihila sa kanya, ano po yung ibang force? Mga B, sabi dito sa continuation ng tanong, no? The static and kinetic friction between the black A and black B are turbanels. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong friction dito. So, ano yung friction na yun? Will that be static or kinetic? Since at rest siya, kasi nga, to stop, di ba? Ibig sabihin, yung gagamitin natin is static friction. So, saan ba yung flow ng motion? Yung motion is going to the right. Ibig sabihin, Friction is always counter the motion. So, kung yung motion niya is going to the right, ibig sabihin yung friction, ka-counter siya going to the left. So, this is F sub S. Static friction yung gagamitin natin kasi at rest. So, aside dito mga bis, meron pa ba tayong ibang mga forces involved? Diba? Wala na mga bis. Okay, so solve na lang natin dito. Therefore, 0 is equal to ano yung ating uh, tension that's positive because it's going to the right minus yung ating F sub S which is going to the left. Alright? So, Tension is therefore equal to F sub S. Okay. So, alam ba natin? Do we know at least one of them? Diba? Diba? Hindi. So, let's solve first for the value of F sub S, mga bis. Ang ating F sub S is equal to mu S times F sub N. Diba? Alam ba natin yung ating normal force, mga bis? Ang ating normal force, mga bis, is equal sa... Wait, sulat kulit dito. Diba? Meron tayong force dito na nag act This is the weight. And this is the normal force. Normal force is equal sa weight, mga bis. Diba? Equal yung dalawang yan. Kasi nga, it is in particle equilibrium, eh. Okay? So, that's F sub N or the normal force. Ano ba yung value ng weight natin? Yung value ng weight natin is yung 40. Yung value ng weight natin, mga bis, is 40 plus yung mass ng letter C. So, that's 40 plus C times 9.8. Gets ba, mga bis? Kasi, di ba, illustrate ko lang dito. Ha? Meron tayong dalawang block dito, di ba? Ito yung 40, ito yung C. Yung weight natin, mga bis, is going downwards, di ba? At ang normal force natin is going upwards. Gets ba? So, ibig sabihin, the summation of forces in the y direction is equal to 0. Therefore, kapag yung pataas, that would be positive. So, F sub N minus ang pababa is weight. Okay? So, we can conclude that F sub N is equals to weight. Pero ano ba yung value ng weight natin? Yung value ng weight natin is mass times gravity. ba mga bis? So, ano po yung mass ng dalawang to? Ang mass niyan is 40 kilograms plus C. Ito yung unknown. Times 9.8. Doon po natin yun nakuha. Alright? Okay. So, ano yung coefficient ng static friction natin? Coefficient ng static friction natin, mga bis, is 0.18. Ito yung coefficient ng kinetic friction natin. So, this is 0 0.18 times ano yung F sub N? Ano ulit yan? So, yun. 40 plus C times 9.8. Alright? So, this is the value of our F sub S. Okay? Ngayon, mga bis, solve naman natin kung ano yung value ng tension. Di ba? So, ano naman yung value ng tension natin? So, for that, mga bis, gagamitin na natin yung ating second block, which is andito. Kasi, mga bis, always take note, no, sa isang uh, sa isang uh, setup, 
kung ano yung tension sa isang roof sa ang tension sa lahat ng roof ay iisa. So kung anong tension dito, equal yan sa tension dito. Right? That should be always equal. Okay? Pag kalimutan yun. So let's draw another FBD mga bis. Okay? So dito mga bis, ano yung mga forces na nag-act dito? Dito sa ito yung letter B natin ha, pag kakalimutan. Okay. So meron tayong mga forces diyan. First is yung weight niya which is moving downwards, di ba? Yung weight niya. And yung isa pang force diyan is yung tension pataas kasi nga hinihila siya pataas, di ba? So that's the tension. Therefore, since it is in particle equilibrium at rest nga siya, the force is acting acting in the y direction is equal to zero. Therefore, tension Minus weight is equal to zero. Therefore, tension is equal to weight. Pero ano ba yung weight nito? We know that this is 20 kilograms, di ba? So, that's 20 kilograms times the gravity, which is 9.8. Therefore, we can now solve for the tension. So, tension is equal to 20 times 9.8. Mga bis, that's 196, no? 196 newton. So, alam natin yung value ng tension. So, since alam na natin yung F sub S tsaka tension, then we can now solve for our given problem. Okay? So, ayan. So, solve natin. So, tension, substitute na lang natin. That's 196 newtons. Is equal to ano yung value ng ating F sub S? 0 0.18 times 40 plus C times 9.8. Okay? So, 9.8 mga bis times 0.18 times 0.18, that's equal to 1.76. Transfer natin sa kabilang, kabilang side ng equation. 196 divided by 1.76 is equal to 40 plus C. So, transfer natin yung 40 sa kabilang side ng equation. 1.96 over 1.76. No, 196. So, 196 over 1.76 minus 40 is equal to C. Kasi nga, transfers, transfers, transfers. <laughs> Nabubulo na ako. Tinransfer, uh, tinransfer natin yung 40 sa kabilang side kaya magiging negative. So, the value of mass C is therefore equal to 196 divided by 1.76 minus 40 is equal yan mga bis sa 71 kilograms. So, yun mga bis no. Yung mass ng letter C natin is 71 kilograms. Pero sabi sa ating question, determine the minimum weight. Uh, minimum weight. No? So, ibig sabihin, weight yung hinahanap. And since this is mass to find for the weight, let's just multiply its uh, uh, gravitational acceleration. So, magiging 71 times 9.8. Therefore, our final answer would be approximately 696 newtons. No? So, the, the minimum weight, para hindi to mag-slide, ay eh, kailangan 696 newtons, mga bis. No? So, Ayun mga bis, so for now, let's now solve for the problem letter B. Sabi dito, if black C is removed, no, what is the acceleration of black? Ay, ibig sabihin mga bis, itong black C, ililift natin, like tatanggalin natin siya. So kapag tinanggal natin yan, mag slide na siya yan pa ba? Kasi nga, di ba, yung purpose ng black C is para hindi siya mag-slide. Ibig sabihin, kapag natanggal yan, mag-accelerate yan. Okay, so saan yung direction ng acceleration? Yung direction yan mga bis is therefore, pababa ito, ito pupunta to the right, alam nga namang pupunta yan sa to the left, di ba? Like, uh, ano lang, parang simple interpretation lang mga bis, no? So, ayun. Uh, pupunta kayo. So, yung direction ng ating acceleration is going to the right. In, dito sa letter B, it's going down. Okay, mga bis. Yung mga forces na papunta sa direction ng acceleration, so, yung sa direction ng acceleration, that would be positive mga bis. Pero yung mga kokontra, sa direction ng acceleration, yung mga forces na kokontra doon would be equal to negative. Okay, makikita nyo niyan paano, yan, paano natin yan gagawin mamaya. So, first of all, mga bis, no, illustrate ulit natin yung free, free body diagram ng ating black A at yung free body diagram ng ating black B. Dito sa ating black A, mga bis, no, meron tayong weight, meron din tayong normal force. Dito mga bis no, may tension na humihila sa kanya pababa. So since hinihila siya, so the tension is going to that direction. And ang dito naman mga bis is kinetic force. Bakit kinetic force mga bis? Kasi nga gumagalaw na siya. Unlike sa ating first example sa letter A na stable lang siya. So big sabihin static yung gagawin natin. So since gumagalaw, kinetic friction siya. And bakit papunta sa direction to the left? Kasi Kinetic friction or any frictional force is always countering the motion. So, yung motion natin is going to the right. Ibig sabihin, yung kinetic friction is going to the left. Diba? Right. So, dito naman tayo sa ating black B. Sa ating black B, meron tayong weight na pababa. And meron din tayong tension na pataas kasi, diba? 
this is tension, and this is weight. Okay? So, dito tayo mga bis. Solve natin yung uh, values ng uh, F sub N, di ba? Kasi weight, we know that weight is equal to F sub N, di ba? Mga bis. So, ano yung value ng ating weight? Ang value ng ating weight, mga bis, ay equal yan sa A. That's 40 times 9.8. That's the value of our uh, F sub M, no? Mga bis. So, calculator natin yan. 40 times 9.8, that's equal to 392. So, F sub N is equal to 392 newtons. And that alone, pwede natin ma-solve kung ano yung value ng ating kinetic friction. So, ang ating kinetic friction na doon, F sub K, formula yan, mga bis, no? Coefficient times the normal force. So, ano yung coefficient niya, mga bis? That's 0 0.15. Times ano yung normal force natin, mga bis? Ang ating normal force ay equal sa... 392 newtons. Okay. So, calculator nyo lang. 392 times 0.15 mga bis, no? That's equal sa, that's approximate na 59 newtons. Okay. So, ayun lang. I'm making it whole numbers para mas mapandali tayo. Pero kapag na-require ng teacher nyo na it's uh, decimal places, then go for it. Comply. Okay. Ginagawa lang ko lang to para mas mabilis yung process natin. Okay. So, ayun. Meron tayong F sub N tsaka F sub K. Alam pa natin yung tension, hindi natin yung masosolve. Pero therefore, kung maalan yung mga bis na yung ating uh, second law of motion, di ba, ni Newton, that is the law of force in acceleration, which states that force is equals to mass times acceleration. Since nag-a-accelerate na siya mga bis, hindi na natin pwedeng sabihin na nasa equilibrium siya. So kapag sinabi mo dito na the summation of forces in the y direction is in the x direction mga bis is equal to 0 this is a big mistake mga bis no hindi yan imposible yan mga bis kasi nga nag-accelerate siya so this can uh, this hindi to mag-apply sa ganitong sitwasyon okay so ano yung pwede nating ma-apply garod dito mga bis no so since we know that the summation of forces in x that the force is equal to ma so ito yung pwede nating ilagay mga bis di ba since diba force is equal to ma, then let's say that the net force is equal to ma. Alright? So, ano yung mga forces na nag-act dito sa ating x direction? We have tension and f sub k. Okay? So, alin dito yung positive? Yung F tension for f sub k. Sabi natin kanina, kapag yung uh, direction ng force mo is going towards the uh, motion or the acceleration, then that will be positive. So, since yung acceleration natin and it's going to the right, T will be positive and FK will be negative, di ba? Okay? So, this is uh, T minus F sub K is equals to mass times acceleration. Alam ba natin yung value ng T? Hindi, di ba? Pero alam natin yung value ng K. Transpose natin to sa kabilang side ng equation. Magiging positive. Ano yung F sub K natin? That's 59 newtons. Alam ba natin yung value ng ating MA? Yes, of course. Ang value ng ating mass ay 40 kilograms, di ba? Times the acceleration, hindi natin yan alam, mga bis. Yan po yung hinahanap natin, alright? Alam ba natin yung value ng weight? Yes, we can solve for the value of weight because that's equal to mass times gravity. Ano po yung mass ng letter B? That's 20 kilograms times 9.8 na gravitational acceleration. So that's 20 times 9.8, mga bis, no? That's 196. 196 newtons. Therefore, Pwede ulit natin gamitin yung itong uh, function natin. Pero, forces in the y direction naman. Kasi nga, vertical na siya, di ba? So, the summation of forces in the y direction is equals to mass times acceleration. So, ano yung mga forces na nag-act sa y direction? We have weight and tension. Pero, mga bis, ang problema ulit natin, hindi natin alam kung saan yung positive or negative. Pero ulit, sabi ko nga, Kung ano yung papunta sa direction ng acceleration, that is positive. Kapag kina-counter yung acceleration, that's negative. So, since acceleration is moving downwards, kasi nga, hihilain yan pababa para mag-slide to, di ba? Ibig sabihin yan, mga bis, ang weight natin would be positive. Ang tension would be negative. Kasi nga, yung pababa, which is also the acceleration, is the weight. Gets? Alright? So, that's weight minus tension is equals to mass time acceleration. So, transfer natin yung tension sa kabilang side ng equation that's tension weight minus MA so just substitute values ano yung value ng weight natin sabi ko nga that's 196 newtons minus ano yung mass natin dito that's 20 kilograms times uh, ano yung acceleration yan hindi natin alam is equal to tension 
So, kung makikita nyo mga bis, meron tayong dalawang equation, di ba? This is, uh, let's say that as equation 2. This is equation 1. So, pwede nating uh, gamitin yung dalawang uh, equation na to para masolve yung value ng A. Kasi di ba yung hinanap natin is, what is the acceleration of black A? Okay, mga bis, no? What is the acceleration of black A, mga bis? Uh, always take note na kung anong acceleration dito ay siya rin dapat na acceleration dito kasi nga iisang system lang sila connected by a rope in a pulley so kung anong acceleration sa black A that's the same as the acceleration in black B okay? so dito, itong A na to A and A is the same so uh, we can equate both equations we can equate the two equations para masolve natin yung value ng A and also dapat Huwag niyong kakalimutan mga bis, no? Yung tension sa isang side ng rope is equal din sa tension ng isang side ng rope. So, at any uh, at any system man yan, connected by a certain rope, kahit ilang blocks man yan, yung rope in that blocks would be always equal to the same at different locations. Alright? So, dito, pwede natin equate yan. Therefore, tension is equal to tension, di ba? So, simulan natin sa equation 1. That's 59 newtons plus 40A is equal yan mga bista, 196 newtons minus 20A, right? Diba? So ngayon, let's just do some algebra. Magiging 40A plus 20A is equal yan sa 196 newtons minus 59, new, 59, <laughs> 59 newtons. So that's 60A is equal to 196 min, 196 minus 59, that's equal to 137 newtons. Therefore, to find for the value of acceleration, that's 137 divided by 60. Acceleration is therefore equal to 2.28 mga bis. So, 2.28 meters per second squared since it's acceleration. Okay? So, ito po ang ating final answer mga bis. No? So, the acceleration is 2.28. 28. Okay, so the acceleration is 2.28 meters per second squared. Yeah. So, ayun mga bis, no? I hope nakatulong to sa inyo. If you found it helpful, pwede bang pasubscribe naman dyan. So, yan. Kung may katanungan pa kayo, please comment down below. Ta try natin yung sagutan. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you in our next video. Bye-bye, mga bis.